natural cleaning products and still save money? That's a really good question because cleaning products can be super expensive if you're buying them at full paycheck. So um, the answer with the resounding cheers, if I can find that sound effect, I'll add it in, is yes, you absolutely can save money and avoid chemicals in your cleaning products. But before we talk about that, let's talk about why. So the EPA estimates that the air inside our homes is actually five times typically more polluted than outside. Um, and that's primarily because of chemicals in our paint, our furniture, our carpets, and our cleaning products. So unless you're going for like a whole overhaul, um, the easiest place to eliminate some of those chemicals is in your cleaning products, right? Those are the quickest things to, to swap out. So the first thing that, you know, my real rule of thumb is anything with a poison label should not be in your house, um, especially if you have kids, right? That's you know, lock it up, whatever, you're still spraying it in their world. Um, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So poison level labels out. Um, studies have linked chemicals in cleaning products with asthma, allergies, um, a whole bunch of other health problems. In fact, there was a 2010 study that they did in Britain of pregnant women, and they found that women who cleaned with um, chemical cleaners while they were pregnant were twice as likely to develop breathing problems. So that's, you know, that's pretty significant. and. Um, and it's really easy to avoid them. Um, here are some to avoid, and I'll list them so you can, you know, but I'll read them too. So ammonia, chlorine, non-ethyl exhalates, non, non, oh my God. Anyway, just read it. Um, triclosan, which is a pesticide, DEA, TEA, hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide, and sulfuric acid. So look at your labels dispose of those, you probably have to take them to a toxic waste dump, but dispose of those and then, you know, shift over. Um, I also tend to avoid anything that um, has the word fragrance in it, just because I try to avoid fragrances. Um, synthetic fragrances are typically include phthalates, which are hormone disruptors, and those are things that I like to avoid. I like my hormones balanced naturally. Um, and it's really interesting, once I stopped using those fragrances in my home, I stopped associating that like weird fake pine smell or that like super lemon smell. I stopped associating that with clean. You know, I used to think that was clean, but now my house smells clean um, when it smells like vinegar, which is great. And you know, like my grandmother cleaned with vinegar and her house was pretty damn sparkling. So I think we need to, to think about that when we think about those associations. Anyway, um, so you can buy natural cleaners, absolutely, or you can save yourself a whole bunch of money by DIYing your own. And I know now you're like, I don't have time to DIY, I don't, you know, but honestly, a $10 investment can make you enough cleaning products to clean your house for months. So think about that. Months, like, you know, almost a year for some things, depending on how often you scrub your toilets, which for me is not very often. No, I'm just kidding. They're clean. Smell them. They don't smell like chemicals. Anyway, um, so here's what you need, um, and I'm going to list these two. Recycled bottles from your old cleaners, liquid pistil soap, baking soda, distilled white vinegar, and spray olive oil, which is optional. I like to spray my wood with um, the same olive oil that I use to cook my food. Seems like, you know, two in one is always great for me. So anyway, that's an option, but I really like, I like that. Don't spray your floors with those. You can skate everywhere. Um, so your basic spray is um, half and half vinegar to water. That's what they say when they're giving you the instructions, but actually I use straight vinegar a lot of the time and it seems to work great. Um, your basic scrub is half and half baking soda to Castile soap. And that um, that's like sinks, bathtubs, toilets, tile, countertops. Um, you need to figure out the consistency that you like because you can make it thicker or thinner. Um, and that's it, honestly. You can spray that spray on everything from windows to sinks to um, floors. I sprayed around the toilet. I don't know, I'm talking about toilets a lot today, but anyway, you can use that vinegar everywhere. It works great. It um, takes away odors and it totally cleans to, to a spark. Um, but just remember that just like with all cleaners, um, make sure that your cleaners stay away from your kids and your pets. All right, so tweet me at Rachel L. Sarnoff, and I will see you here next Friday. Thanks.